I read a news recently which said uh, giant pandas are no more endangered species and the first person who came to my mind was this person. And uh, he's a percussionist and uh, he loves, he's a helping hand so he says he's, uh, he's just one phone call away. I urge all of you to try it. Don't believe me. And uh, the most important part of his introduction is he, he recently got the title as District 92 Webmaster. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Aman. The During my third year of engineering, I parked my bike on the side of the nice road and the sun was setting. I found the perfect spot and I went down on my knees. That day was special for me, but sad for two people because I had taken the final, I had finally taken the step. I handed over three roses to the girl I loved, and with each rose, I described one quality of her. Cute, no? <laughs> she accepted. And I was ecstatic because I was a mechanical engineer and I got a girlfriend. <laughs> but that happiness didn't last for long. After five long months, it came to an end on a very bad note. At the same time, I lost my closest uncle and my cat was extremely sick. But if it weren't for those two pillars who were there with me, constantly spending time with me to console me, to bring me back to that funny and f cheerful guy, I wouldn't have concentrated on my goals. I would have ended up in depression. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Good evening. Let me take you back into time to fateful days of my life. It, during my schooling times, I had zero friends because I was fat, silent, and an improved. Due to bad times of loneliness and rigorous training in my music career, Tabla, I transformed from the fat, silent, introverted guy to a talkative, extroverted, funny fat guy who had lost all his inhibitions except for his weight. I was a friend in need, but no one was a friend in need to me. Fateful day <coughs> number one. In my 11th standard, a knock on the door sent an angel into my life. A six foot four inch tall, curly head, nerdy looking guy walked into my class and he showcased this really peculiar behavior. He went up to the desk and said, Hi, my name is Nitin, I'm from Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> he did this at every desk. Lastly, he arrived at mine. I felt this guy was weird. But within a few minutes of conversation with him, I realized he was my long lost brother. <laughs> we spent most of the times eating lunch, bunking classes, to playing basketball. He being the nerd would get a mark or two more than me, always. I recall one funny incident which happened when my friends and I were bunking classes and playing volleyball. When I suddenly saw the peculiar behavior arise again and he started running towards class. I thought, what's this? That time I realized he was smart. He had seen the teacher <coughs> staring at us from the window. So I ran behind him. He covered long yards and I covered steps as long as a 30 centimeter hole. I was running behind him and suddenly I hear a thud. He was testing his jump when he banged his head on the door beating on top and fell flat on the ground. That incident sends chuckles to all my friends who hear that till date. Until one day, when I stood against him for the first time for the post of Prefect Boy. And I obviously lost. <laughs> but one gesture of him made me realize that he was an important pillar. He came up to me and said, thank you brother for that support. That was the time I changed my perspective about him. Schooling times were over. We parted ways into different colleges. But we meet almost every other weekend. Fateful day number two. During my second year of engineering, yet again I met a six foot four inch tall <laughs> guy who was fat too, but a super nerd. He wore this thick chain, he unbuttoned his top collar to look like a dog. But man, he was helpful, 
he was nice and you know what he made the best sakre pongal or sugar pongal i had ever tasted <laughs> he was the reason i passed my toughest mechanical engineering subject applied thermodynamics <laughs> <laughs> i was his wingman but he was never my mine because his legs would tremble when he would speak to girls thanks to me <laughs> later on he pays for you and tells me pay me later that's fine but then he took the step step of dieting for dating and realized that food was more important <laughs> i renamed this dawn as logic puram and to justify that fact i challenge any of you sitting on this floor to win a debate against him and if you win i will take you to anywhere you say finally two fateful days because they had gained a friend like me but more importantly i had gained my two friends it says that friends are so important in our life and we realize the importance when they come up with this few gestures like we've heard our cute grandfathers and grandmoms say that our journey is like a train our life is like a train journey some people stay till you to a particular destination and get off or a phase of life whereas few of them stay till the end and those few people who stay till the end are an integral and a crucial part of your life who i call pain in the wrong places <laughs> or in simple terms best friends best friends are those people who criticize you to the core never falter leave us and give up on us their mere presence in our lives gives us that much needed boost and confidence to keep going on nitin and ramu are my pillars of strength standing tall for me who are your pillars thank you